In this video, we will be demonstrating some basic operations on the SGS 1020SD surface grinder. To turn on the machine, turn the main power switch to the on position. This turns on the main power light on the control panel. Release the e-stop and press the circuit power button to turn on the control panel. Wait for the PLC to boot up. The reset values will be displayed once fully booted up. Make sure that the wheel guard is closed and magnetism is turned on before turning on the spindle. Otherwise, the spin-off error will be displayed. The machine is equipped with safety switches that prevent the spindle from turning on unless the two aforementioned steps are performed. Turn on the magnetism with this switch and adjust it accordingly. Make sure that the part is held on by the magnet. Then close the grinding wheel cover. Now it is safe to run the spindle. Let's move on to the hydraulics. Before you can turn on the hydraulics, you must close the splash guard sliding doors. Otherwise the door off error will be displayed. Notice the switch on the inside. Now you can turn on the hydraulics. Now we're ready to operate the machine. In this video, we will go over the control panel section by section. We will demonstrate how to toggle between manual controls and automatic cycle controls. Towards the end of this video, we will simulate a surface grinding operation. Manual operation. Toggle the manual down feed button to jog the grinding wheel up and down. There are three jogging modes. Rapid traverse. Slow traverse and by steps. The range is 1 tenth to 1 thou. In this example, we had it set to 4 tenths. When using step up and step down, the amount of Z movement is dictated by the find feeds value. Press the manual button. Press the MPG button. There are three increments. Times 1. Times 10. times 20. These translate to 1 tenth, 1 thou, and 2 thou respectively. The reset button is used to zero out your Z axis position. The origin button jogs the Z to the zero point established earlier with the reset button. In this section you can toggle between the two cycles this machine can perform. Surface grinding, plunge grinding. The manual button allows you to freely cross feed in and out. In surface grinding mode, you can toggle between the grinding wheel down feeding on the left and right, or just on the right. To jog the saddle, press the manual button. Now you can use these two buttons to move the saddle in and out for as long as they are held down. We will now demonstrate how to set the crossfeed limits, which will be used in our surface grinding example later in this video. First, press the position setting button. It will begin to flash. Note that you will need to jog the grinding wheel to a point where it clears the workpiece front and back as shown. In this example, we started off with the grinding wheel clearing the workpiece on the outside limit and then we jogged to set the inside limit. Press the position setting button once more to save your limits. The value will cease to flash once set. These two buttons affect the amount the machine cross feeds when in the surface grinding cycle. The smaller the value, the finer the feed increments. Now, we will demonstrate how to change the values on the DRO screen. First, press on the pink top right button. The sum of down feed screen will begin to blink. Set the amount of material to be removed. In this example, we set it at 300 thousandths of an inch. Next, we toggle over to rough feed. The units are in tenths. The value you place here is multiplied by 1 tenth. In this case, 10 gives us 1 thou. The machine will down feed 1 thou each pass. Next, we toggle over to sum of fine feeds. In this example, we set it to 20, which translates to 2 thou. Then, toggle over to fine feeds. Set it to 5, which translates to 5 tenths. In this example, we will spark out 5 times. To sum it up, in fine feed, we will remove 2 thou 
by 5 tenths per pass. The display of grinding wheel position shows where the grinding wheel is relative to the origin point set with the reset button. There are three post cycle options for the grinding wheel position. 1. Maintain the grinding wheel at the spark out position. 2. Retract to the origin point. 3. Retract to half an inch past the origin point. Now that we've set our cross feed limits, table limits, and down feed amounts, we are ready to begin surface grinding. Toggle auto surface grinding, automatic cross feed, and automatic down feed. Open the hydraulic valve. Give it a cross feed direction. Thank you.